Hello Pisces, this is Renee and this is your reading for December 3rd through the 17th. And if my reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And uh, make sure to take a look at your sun, moon and rising for more clarity on your situation. Okay, Pisces. When I was meditating on your energy, I was feeling the Eight of Pentacles energy. So I feel like, you know what, I feel like you could be self-employed or I feel like you're an entrepreneur, Pisces. And I feel like you're really enjoying what you're doing at the moment. I feel like whatever you're doing is bringing you a lot of success, a lot of joy. Uh, I feel like you really... You really love what you're doing. Now let's see what the cards have to say. What cards do we have for Pisces? A rose's kiss. Okay, so yeah, you may have love coming through. You may have some romance, Pisces. And I... You also have exposed and revealed. So I feel like you're gaining truth on some certain information. <laughs> Stop. Hold on a minute. I have a kitten crawling up my leg. Okay. Yeah, I feel like something, some truth is coming through for you. I feel like something's been exposed. You finally see something for what it really is. Okay, and you have spirit of gratitude. Yeah, so I feel like now is the time to be very thankful for all the things that you have in your life. Even if they're small, um, I feel like whatever you have, whatever your life is made of is, even if it's not where you need to be at the moment, I feel like gratitude and being thankful is going to take you to a, a, a higher level. The universe gives us more when we come with a thankful and grateful heart. So maybe creating a gratitude journal, writing all the things down that you're grateful for, That may very be very helpful for you to start. Okay, what do we have for my angels? Okay, we have Aurora. Okay. You are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. Yeah. And I feel like others follow a certain example. And I feel like you definitely are a leader, Pisces. So I feel like whatever you're doing, people will follow you. Okay, now this card wanted to jump out. You have Celeste. A happy move to a new home or a place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy exactly and you also have Daniel on the bottom I am the angel of marriage and I'm assisting you right now so maybe you're you're married and you're looking for guidance but I feel like whatever you're looking for I feel like it's coming let's get a few moonology and then we will get into the tarot Okay, what do we have in the Moonology for Pisces? December 3rd through the 17th. Okay. Be bold and make the first move, the Cardinal Moon. Don't be afraid to make the first move, Pisces. And I don't feel like you fear very much at all. 
a time to breathe out decimating moon yeah and i feel like it could be very well a good time to take some time out for yourself because look at this yeah it may be new love that's coming through for you a fiery climax approaches full moon in aries so yeah i feel like a situation is going to come forward for you if you're not in a love situation I feel like that very well may be coming. Let's take a look at the tarot and take a look at the messages that are coming out for Pisces. December 3rd through the 17th, Spirit Guides and Angels, please deliver us a message for the higher good for Pisces. Please deliver us a message for the higher good for Pisces. You have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, and you have the Five of Cups. You have the Six of Pentacles. And the Three of Swords. Oh, some cards want to jump out. Okay, we have the Fool. We have the Judgment. And we have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Tower. And we have the High Priestess. Okay. So, yeah, when I think about Pisces, I think about the High Priestess. So, this is definitely your energy, Pisces. Okay, Pisces. The energy at the bottom is the Knight of Wands. So, I feel like something's coming through faster than you expected. Whatever this is, um, you weren't really expecting it, but I feel like it's coming through faster than you expected. That's what I feel with this, with this energy. Now, in the middle, you have the full. So I begin. I feel like this is something that you really risked. This may be a new beginning for you, Pisces. This is a new beginning. Maybe in love, since you have this three of swords up here. But I feel like... Whatever this is, you didn't see it coming. This is a totally new journey for you. Okay. We're starting with the seven of pentacles. And the five of cups. So with this energy, I feel like you're waiting on something to be successful, but you're very close to walking away from it because you feel like the success is not coming in for you. This may be with love. This may be with your job. This may be something uh, within your life period, but only you know the situation. But I feel like you were waiting for this to come through and you did not feel like it was coming. You felt like you, you were almost at the point where you were giving up on it and you were ready to walk away from the situation. And then I feel like someone's coming in to provide you a helping hand. I feel like someone is actually helping you through the situation um this is someone giving you something this is something that's given to you and i feel like it's coming to you after a time of heartbreak now 
a lot of times when I see the three of swords, I see disappointment. But for in this case, I really feel like it's coming to you after a time of heartbreak. It's coming to you after you have really lost something. Something broke your heart about a situation. Uh, but I feel like you are, you're on the rebound of this situation. You're actually moving in the direction where you need to move now. And I feel like in this situation, um, I feel like you have a renewed sense of capability. I'm kind of like you, you have this moment where you have aha, like you have an aha moment, like this is how I should go about it. And as I'm looking at this card, I'm really seeing uh, the people on the card. And I feel like this is a new beginning for you as well. And the judgment card, along with the fool, that, that very well can be a new a new beginning. A new beginning um, that's kind of like you making the final decision on which way to go. You finally have the right direction for your situation. And I feel like this, this is coming after a time of looking for answers. I feel like somebody else is working with you in this situation. But I feel like you are, you're building something with the situation because it, the initial situation didn't work out at all. I feel like the, the initial thing that you were working on kind of didn't pan out. It didn't work out. It just didn't. It didn't come into fruition. It whatever you did kind of crumbled. And I feel like you weren't expecting this. I feel like it changed um, your perspective about the situation. And I feel like it's, it's a change that you really didn't want. You really didn't want this outcome for the situation. But in the end, I feel like it's putting you in a better position. Because now after this situation crumbles, after this situation is no longer here, now you're free to go in the right direction. You're free to make a better choice. Follow your intuition. Hmm. Let's get some clarity for these cards. I want to know what this is. Let's see. Spirit guides and angels, please give me a message for Pisces, December 3rd through the 17th. Can I get some clarity on this situation, please? Can I have a card for the Seven of Pentacles? What is the Seven of Pentacles in this reading? The Page of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like whatever these answers are that you're waiting for, I feel like someone's going to bring you the answers that you need. I feel like if this isn't someone giving you this information, I feel like this is your higher power kind of delivering it to you, maybe through visions or dreams. 
I feel like you're going to dream about where this leads you. And your answers are going to lie there. Very confusing, Pisces. I feel like this reading is all over the place. What is this Five of Cups? Tell me more about this Five of Cups, please. The Two of Swords. Yeah, you have some decisions to make uh, before you leave the situation behind, um, before you walk away from it. I feel like you need to look at your other options. I feel like you need to look at your other options and make a decision. What I'm feeling like is she's wearing the blindfold because she's following her intuition. Now that may not be what this card represents, but that is what I'm feeling. I feel like she's... I feel like you need to follow your intuition on the answers to this choice that you need to make. What is the Six of Pentacles? Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles, please. You have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like once you make this choice, I feel like it's going to move much faster. I feel like your situation is going to become less stagnant. I feel like you are... I feel like it's going to push you in another direction. I feel like it's going to open your creativity. Um, if this is in love, I feel like... I feel like with this Six of Pentacles and the, the Knight of Wands, I feel like someone's going to give you a gift that's very creative. This person that's giving you give, the gift may also be very, very, very free spirit, spirited, very free spirited. Yeah. Now, after this heartbreak, you have the Queen of Cups. So I feel like there is a possibility for new love in this situation. I feel like this person is coming in to support you, to provide you rest and rejuvenation. Um, and with this full card, I feel like you're finally taking a time out for yourself. You finally have the ability to put yourself first. I think this new beginning is going to give you that ability to put yourself first. And I feel like you don't do that very often. I feel like there's always other people ahead of you. You're always looking at someone else's needs before your own. But I feel like you're first for the first time. Now look at this. You have the full... And the judgment. Now you have the judgment and the fool. So definitely, this is definitely a new beginning. This is this is this is something that's really going to be a wake up call for you. And I feel like what you've been through in the past has really became a wake up call. I feel like this is you making the final decision on whatever you need to do. You finally have the full clarity to make this decision. What is this three of pentacles? The four of wands. Yeah, so someone new might be stepping in. This might be someone that you work with. This might be someone that's in your life under uh, like someone that you're collaborating with someone that you're working on a project with 
that may come into your life. And you may receive a message from this person. You may receive some kind of communication from them. They may give you a call. They may um, send you an email is what I'm feeling. Now with this tower, this tower has left you a little anxious and a little wary of your situation. But I feel like um, you're only going to stay in that situation for a time. I don't feel like you're going to be in that situation very long. I feel like you're going to come out of it. But I do see that that this change has brought, has brought new worries, has made you anxious about things. What is this high priestess? Okay, the star. Yeah. By using your intuition, by using... The abilities that you have for trusting yourself, Pisces, it has created a very strong hope and renewal um, in you. It has opened you up for miracles to be created. It's opened you up to new possibilities. And I do believe that with the star, usually with this energy, when I see the star, I see you as the spotlight, Pisces, because normally you are the spotlight. You are the star in this situation. That's just how I feel about Pisces. Pisces, when I see Pisces, I, I see the star. And you definitely have a new beginning. And this is a, a very creative, very inspirational new beginning. I feel like you're very inspiring at the moment. And this may be the universe finally giving you the uh, information that you need to inspire yourself, maybe as well as others. It may be something that you do with your job, something that makes you inspire someone else. Maybe you're a teacher, maybe you're, uh, you're a lecturer, but I, I feel like you are an inspiration to others. That's just how I feel. Now, I feel like I need more cards. Let's get a let's get an overall outcome for Pisces. What is an overall outcome for Pisces, please, for this situation? The Empress. Yeah, you're you're very fruitful at this time. You're very yeah, Pisces, you're very attractive. And I feel like in whatever situation that you put your mind to, I feel like there's great abundance in it. This may be you also creating your family, um, maybe trying to create your family. But I, I feel like whatever it is that you're wanting right now, Pisces, I feel like it's coming. If you're not seeing the results right now, I feel like they're coming very soon. Hold tight, Pisces. Yes, because you have the Ten of Cups. What you want most out of life is coming. And you also have the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like the money is going to be there as well. Your career, your success. It's all coming. It, it's all coming I just think you need to hold tight, Pisces. Hold tight for the outcome. Because I feel like in the near future, you are going to see the results of what it is that you're trying to create. Okay. To go ahead and end this reading, let's go ahead and get some cards from the universe. Let's see what the universe has to say about this situation. Let's see what the universe has to say about this situation. What does the universe have to say about this situation, please? The more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. Yeah, in whatever situation that you're working through, Pisces, be fearless, be bold, be creative. Those are all parts of your horoscope. You are that. 
and much more. But I feel like you're overall Pisces. I feel like you are fearless. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, I feel like love may be coming in for you very strongly. I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself I am love and miracles are natural. Okay. Okay, have faith. Have faith, Pisces, because... Whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you want, is coming. It's coming. Okay, Pisces, that is your reading. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And I appreciate all of your support. And I have a wonderful, wonderful December, Pisces. Many blessings to you. Love and light.